Hi, welcome to another CTN member highlight. I'm Leslie McVeigh, and today my guests are from Learning Works. I have Ethan Schechter, who is the director of Learning Works. Uh, Ames High Aim AmeriCorps program. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mouthful. Yes. <laughs> and Erin Kilbride and Hannah Hassan. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, you. You two are both uh, volunteers in the program. Yes. Well, why don't we start with you, Ethan, and talk a little bit about what the AmeriCorps program, AIM High program, does. Sure. Um, so AmeriCorps is a national service program um, that engages Americans of all ages to um, serve in communities across the country and um, work on um, addressing community issues. Uh, our program, the AmeriCorps uh, the Learning Works AmeriCorps Ames High program um, is working in uh, five schools across the state of Maine. Uh, here in Portland, we are uh, working in two different schools, East End Community School and Riverton Elementary. Um, our, uh, what we do is place AmeriCorps members in schools to um, work on ensuring uh, school, su school success um, working with students through one-on-one um, -on -one, uh, mentoring, um, tutoring students both inside and outside of the classroom, um, running after-school programs, um, and also leading community service and uh, service learning projects. Um, so you, you work with all aspects of, of the children's education after school. Right. It's not just one thing or another. It's, it's enrichment. It's Exactly. It's, um, it's, it's educational enrichment. It is outreach um, to the broader community, um, outreach to parents, um, and our, the goal of our program is to provide AmeriCorps volunteers in school um, to be, really be um, uh, just a, a, an, army of <laughs> uh, an army of service and volunteers to the schools, whatever the specific challenges may be in a school. So everybody sort of works together for exactly. the betterment of these kids to give them a better chance. Exactly, yes. And these are two of the wonderful people who are working with the, with the kids. Do you each want to say a little bit about what you're doing and how it's enriched your lives as well? Sure. Go first. Um, so I'm the lead AmeriCorps member at Riverton. I've been involved since September, um, so I'm there full-time. I feel like I kind of live there and I love it. Um, I think the most exciting part for me has been how diverse every day is. Um, part of my time is spent in the classroom and that's probably the best part, but I also get to work um, with different community organizations. I get to work with parents groups. I get to work with um, parents from I think 17 different countries the last time we counted and it's really exciting to be a part of a child's sort of development and education overall you know so I get to work with a little boy from Iraq during the day on his reading but then also work with his mom on her English literacy skills after school and being able to be a part of that whole thing and him knowing that Miss Erin also knows mama is really exciting <laughs> and <laughs> I think it definitely um, when students know that you're committed to not just you know, teaching them how to read and how they do on a test, but when they know that you want to be a part of their whole life, that that's where we see the most success, and that's what's so much fun for us, is mm -hmm. that there's so much diversity in how much we can be involved in whatever our members sign on with whatever kind of experience they have, mm -hmm. we can find a fun way to use that in a way that's been really great for, for both sides, I think. Yeah, oh, it sounds wonderful. And Hannah, how about you? I joined Miracle. I've been uh, learning works not long ago, um, May, you could say, yeah. May, um, and uh, I loved it. Um, if I'd known, I would have joined sooner, but um, circumstance, circumstances allowed me to join now, and so far it has been a great, um, I've it's been, it's been a great source to connect me back to the community. Um, I mostly at Rivet Elementary School, but not limited. I, I'm also involved with the study center where I tutor. I go to Duxie where I also provide some tutoring services and reading, um, reading uh, for young adults, young kids. And also um, I'm involved with the Boys and Girls Club as well. And it's just taught me a lot, um, you know, learn to catch also learn not we only learn from them you know they also learn from you as well it's like 
both way relationship. It's been great so far. Right. And to to really open up to the whole community what you're doing, I think is so key to success. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Well what 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 else would you like to let us know about as far as what you're doing and why how you're going forward? Sure. Um, well, so our program is part of uh, a three-year uh, grant that uh, through the Maine Commission for Community Service. Mm -hmm. We've just completed our first year of the program uh, and are going into our next year and we're currently um, uh, recruiting new members for, for our second year. Um, to be a member, you need to be at least 17 years or older, which means that if you are going, to, going into your senior year of high school, um, here in Portland, um, you can uh, serve as a member um, as part of one of our, our two school programs, either at Riverton or East End Community School. Um, but we take people, um, there is no age limit. Um, we take people of all ages. My age. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> um, and there are a number of benefits to being an AmeriCorps member in addition to serving your community. It's a great opportunity for an individual to get uh, experience in an educational setting um, if that's something that interests them. Um, it's a great way to uh, learn leadership skills. Um, and other skills that will benefit an individual um, you know, throughout their lifetime in their own career and whatever it is that they may be doing. Um, as well, there are some other benefits. AmeriCorps uh, members who complete um, their term of service. When you sign on, you sign on for um, a certain amount of um, service hours. And, and does that vary depending on what the program is? That, that varies. We have uh, three levels of service. Um, at a minimum, uh, AmeriCorps members sign on to uh, 300 hours of service over the course of the year. Okay. Um, and that service can, uh, can be spread out so that it is only an hour or two a day, which makes it possible for people who have um, other work uh, or, or, or career or other, other, um, uh, other things to, to fit it mm -hmm. into their schedule. Um, at the end of your service, AmeriCorps members are also eligible to earn an education award, um, which can then be applied to future educational opportunities or can be uh, applied to uh, student loan debt. Oh, fabulous. And, and we were talking earlier in, in the case of someone my age who may not be needing an education right. fund or something. You can use it for your children or, and we're not sure, but maybe grandchildren. That, that's exactly right. <laughs> um, uh, people over the age of 55 are mm -hmm. able to transfer their education award onto their own children. So how long is your um, term that you've oh. each signed up for? We are sadly both finished August 14th. Oh um, no. That's when the first year of the, the first cycle uh, will uh -huh. finish. So. I've been doing this for about 10 months and Hannah just signed up so because she's doing the 300 hours she's kind of packing all for hours <laughs> in in just a few months um, because I was full-time mine were mine were fairly spread out um, but then that means that the next year will also start August 14th so now can someone re-sign up or sign up yes. again uh, over and over as many times as you would like? Or? Uh, yes, that's right. AmeriCorps members can sign on for a second mm -hmm. um, and even a third and I believe a fourth term of service are allowed. Wow. I think, I, I think um, you're capped off after four terms of service. <laughs> <laughs> now did you start out, were you an AmeriCorps volunteer at one time? Um, no, I, uh, I came to this program because I, um, I saw the, um, the great potential for impact on communities and that was very inspiring. Um, and I think there are AmeriCorps programs all over the country. What's really unique to the program that we're running here in Maine and specifically here in Portland is that we're recruiting community members to work in their own community. Mm -hmm. Um, there are um, AmeriCorps models across the country that recruit people to go to other communities. Um, I think uh, what's so inspiring about this is um, people, people are, are, are working with the people that they know and see every day. Um, and I think there's a great, um, uh, there's, there, there's tremendous potential for building um, social capital here. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Well, one I, I think we're very lucky as a community to have all three of you 
being a part of the program. And, um, and I think, uh, thank you all. And one more time, the telephone number where people can sure. reach you. Um, so if you're interested in serving as an AmeriCorps member, mm -hmm. um, you can call me uh, at LearningWorks. Uh, the number of our office here in Portland is 775-0105. Um, you can also look on our website, uh, which is learningworks.me, um, and or you can email uh, us at uh, aimshigh, all one word, um, at learningworks.me. Sounds great. Thank you very much, and I think it sounds like a wonderful program. Thank you Thank very you. much. Yeah. Thank you for having us. <laughs>